Hey guys, it's Brittany. So, today's going to be a reaction video, and today I'll be reacting to the trailer of Maxine. And let me just uh, give you the description of the plot. So, hang on a sec. Okay, so it shows here. That the release date will be July 5th of this year, so a month from now. And so here's what it's about. In 1980s Hollywood, adult film star and aspiring actress Maxine Minx finally gets her big break. However, as a mysterious killer stalks the starless of Los Angeles, a trail of blood threatens to reveal her sinister past. So that is oof. <sighs> wow. And I know for those who have seen Pearl and X are looking forward to see Maxine and um they're both um good movies. They're both graphic gory and brutal in their own way so I think this just might be a little bit more brutal than maybe X and Pearl but we'll just see and um, yeah this does look like a good movie so we're just gonna get right into the trailer um, at least since we there's still some um, sunlight left then yes we'll just get right into it So, Maxine, your agent tells us you're quite a popular name in adult film and entertainment, is that correct? I'm curious, did you always want to be in that line of work? I always wanted to be famous. If you need to read off the sides we gave you, just go ahead, all right? I know the last. She turns to the camera and through her trauma, addresses the lens directly. Name five celebrities who got their start in horror movies. Jamie Lee Curtis, John Travolta, Demi Moore, Brooke Shields, and... Maxine fucking Minx. I don't like working on him, but freaking Night Stalker guy in the loose. The Night Stalker. Night Stalker. Night Stalker. Is terrorizing Los Angeles. I can handle myself. Most said every bad girl in Hollywood. I'm the private detective hired to find you. My employer is a very powerful man. The past ain't finished with you. It's gonna keep knocking at your door. Tragically, another victim of the Night Stalker. I knew three people who were murdered in three days. I'm the British scared. What are you hiding, Maxine? I tell you something before you got confidentiality. What'd you do? This is the defining moment of your career. Why has this gone on in your life that's interfering with this picture? Squash it. I intend to. Wow, honestly, uh, okay, I just got to say that was a really good trailer. So I think they did well. Oof. Whew. With the movie, um, with the trailer, and yeah, I would like to go see this one. Um, so yeah, I'm just wondering, like, um, what's gonna happen? How's it gonna end? Um, but yeah, 
you know, and I would say the the list, um, the cast here and the list of actors really great. Um, yeah, I remember hearing about Kevin Bacon being in this one, so yeah, it's actually nice to see him, um, to see him in this, and I think he he'll do really well because of course he's he's also a really great actor. He does so well with his roles, whether if it's a really menacing villain in um, Hollow Man or whether if it's a really um, good guy. Um, yeah, even um, Mia Goth, um, she's really great too from what I've seen as Pearl and and then um, X. So yeah, she's, she's great. Um, yeah, I like the cast here and this looks good so yeah I would like to go see it although will I see it in theaters that I'm not sure maybe I'll let you know if I do but if not I might have to wait until when it's available and when it's streaming on um, possibly um, either HBO Max or it may not be on there. It might be streaming on um, Paramount Plus. So, if it is, I will definitely watch it when it's available on Paramount Plus. So yes, this does look like a good movie, and I just want to say that. Um, whoops. No. Nope. Okay. Just want to say right here. That's like a great shot. Like oh the angle and just the shot itself of the car and how she is right there and she's smiling like waving and the camera's flashing and the roses I love that that's just a really great shot I love it uh, I wish I could see more of uh, pictures like that um you know of people even of um like more uh, like cinematic the um, theatrical um, pictures like that you know even when it comes to uh, promoting um, a movie yeah I would love that like character posters where it is something like that so yeah that's just really great so <clears throat> wow and that was disturbing of that this killer, this night stalker, how he kills his victims. Now I don't know how exactly he kills them because it doesn't show but I think we'll get to see that. But he leaves a mark on them and the mark he leaves on them on their face from what I saw was a a, a pentagram. And since we all know what that means, that is not good nope so I don't even like seeing that nope because even that scares me to, to see that so no no thank you so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction video and comment down below if you're going to see Maxine in theaters so I hope you enjoyed this so for more movie content, reactions, dreams, and the paranormal, subscribe and click on the bell so you'll be notified when I upload. That's all for today and I'll see you at the movies.